scored more than for everything in play. The way you played here down the stretch, and I'll say that I'm not going to die, I'm going to stay, just how much you try to kind of take what you've done recently, build off of the theory of the Trying to, the game today was for Chuck. Like, that's all we was playing for us his last game, stuff like that. I'm just going to take that, what I did tonight, and just build off and get better this offseason. Has there been anything in particular where, you know, your offense has picked up here recently? Is there anything in particular you've like, done differently, or has it just kind of been a natural progression for you? Uh, I would kind of say, people like Chuck. I mean, Chuck, I mean, my teammates, they give me, like, they tell me, like, bro, just to get, basically give me confidence to do what I do on the court as, and I'm getting better as the game goes, so it's both at the same time. So, um, Chuck, for you, obviously the last game you did, um, what are you going to take away from your time um, at JMU? Yeah, I'm just learning from the law. Um, really just, you know, I'm always a learner. I'm always trying to learn from everything. The wins, the losers, everything. So, um, just take this and, um, Go back, watch film, and see what I can do better. See what I can be better as a leader. And I'll um, just take all the that. Check out a few saw it the other day in Coach Pete at his press conference. He basically said he didn't know what was going to happen with the CA stuff. He might have told him somewhere else where you got a chance to play in the postseason. Now that you're here, you he played your last game, I'm assuming. Um, how do you feel about that situation? I mean, would you look I mean, yeah, I have nothing like no feelings towards Coach B because like, he was in a, he was out of it like he was out of it. Um, he didn't know that, you know, so coming in, we, nobody knew that this was going to happen coming in. And, um, but I can say if that was it, I probably would have made a different decision. But um, I don't regret coming here at all. Um, I came here with a great coach staff, great teammates, and um, we just Played through adversity. We had a lot of adversity this year. Most I probably haven't had in my college career. And um, I just like the way we fought. You know, we never just put our heads down and just never gave up. Um, we just came out every night still trying to play. We had a lot of injuries going down. So um, just going hard every night. Uh, we just doing the best we can. Um, that's just like that we didn't ever give up. Just like we kept fighting. Can I imagine you playing five years college basketball? Kind of, you know. Can you picture what it's going to be like when you play that last college game? Do you know what you're playing ball after this? Are you going to try to play? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk to my agent uh, right after this. And um, just stop looking forward. Um, wherever I'm in, I just get ready to go to work. Thanks. Good answer is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, um, it was a disappointing night, and you know it was, it was a tough season with a, with a lot of challenges, and you know you, you hope we can regroup and and, and come out here in the, the last game, the last home game, and and uh, and play good basketball. But um, you know I, I think they made you know tough shots early, and they finished plays, and and um, and our guys felt like the weight of the world was on their shoulders. We started pressing, um, we didn't make shots we normally make, and and it just. It was like an avalanche that, that took over. And, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things in the game where you kind of see it on your guys' faces and you're trying to get it out of them. And uh, it's a frustrating feeling as a coach. You didn't want to be able to help them. But um, it's just a mixture of I thought they played really well and then we made enough mistakes early. I think they got compounded and we felt more and more pressure towards the end. And, um, you know, Townsend's playing. You know, I, I think they're playing best in the league right now. Um, I think they're playing terrific basketball, and, and it's a tough matchup for us. Um, but at the same time, you know, when they're making those shots like that, I mean, they're, they're going to beat a lot of teams. Um, they're going to beat a lot of teams badly, just like they beat us. You know, Pat talked a little bit about his relationship with coaching people. You know, if you look at his team, they got fun. What do you think? You know, the reason I respect his team, and I respect Pat Scary, but I, and, and his team, um, is what they went through last year. And you know, we went through some similar things this year. And you know, they were a team last year that um, just couldn't catch a break, and everything was going against them. 
And and those guys came through it the right way. You know, you, you look at Gibson and Timberlake and Thompson and, and, and how those guys came through it. And they've added good players and you know, Rizzuto and Hold and um, uh, Cam Holden and and um, you know, those guys have been you know, great impacts. And you know, they came through it the right way. They went through a tough season, came through it the right way, and that's what you know, I think it's an easy team to cheer for. They play basketball the right way. They play great defense. They share the ball. Um, I think they're tough. They don't beat themselves. Um, you know, I, I think they're in a good place right now to make a run. Is it safe to say you still want to send to the guys off them? Yeah, I mean, the, the locker room right after the game, I mean, just things. And, um, you know, I feel, I feel bad for our guys. I feel bad for our fans. You know, um, I'm embarrassed by that outcome. I'm embarrassed by that ending. And, and so are our guys. And, you know, we, we, we work really hard. And I feel like we've crept really hard. And, you know, this season, you know, maybe you know, we just something we couldn't overcome there towards the end. Um, you know, last Thursday and last Saturday we played really good basketball, and um, you know we did not respond after Saturday with these last two of playing as good as we could. And so, um, you know, whatever it was, um, all the things we faced, um, we should have played better tonight. Um, I feel awful about it. Um, I know our fans tried to pull us through; they were supportive. They were trying to help us and trying to help us, but um, you know our guys just couldn't kind of get over to um, you know, make the right plays, and, and then they played terrific. So th those two things together just you know get you a lopsided outcome. So looking back on this season, kind of bigger picture between everything that this team went through, the COVID pause, the injuries, coming into play, the coaching tournament, is there an obstacle that like stood out to you as like more difficult to navigate, or is it all kind of blended? Um, you know, how many years back up? Nine or ten years? It's nine. All right. Um, in my nine years of being a head coach, this is by far the most challenging that I've ever dealt with. And and I had zero character issues or zero player issues or player problems. It was just different factors that that build up throughout the year. Um, that um, you know, pretty much it started with injuries, um, then the COVID, and then coming back from that. And then I think, you know, we felt like we had to be perfect. We got in conference play and it was, we felt like we had to be perfect along the way. And we just didn't kind of keep growing as a team. And, and then we got to a point a couple of weeks ago, I think we were playing good basketball. We were growing, we were getting better. And, um, you know, the last Wilmington game and coming back and then running into a team like, like Townsend is, um, is difficult. So if you add all the factors in, I think they all add in um, from, the CA tournament, I think that was a big blow for Mitch, the part of it, and, and the injuries and the COVID, and, and and losing guys, you know, that were integral parts of the team, and and we had to kind of change change our team midway, and all our games were kind of condensed. You know, we played this eight games in 17 days, and there wasn't a lot of time to be able to try to fix things and then try to get better. It was. Um, trying to do things on the fly and our guys are trying to learn, trying to do better. And as a coach, it challenged me, so I'll be better for it. But you add all those things together, it was tough. And uh, kind of following up on that, um, you know, when you look back on the season, this offseason, like five, ten years from now, is there like a big lesson you maybe learned this season and what's like, some like all the like, all off season? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, you know, I'll have better time to reflect and kind of come back and, and, and think of, you know, what all did I learn? Because right now it's, you know, I'm tired, our guys are tired. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like it was a winning season. And um, I know we got back-to-back -back winning seasons. You know, tonight we've been great, just had some momentum going into the off season. But I think, you know, what I'm gonna look back on this year is kind of seeing how we prepare the summer and spring. And, you know, see if this is a scar that's, that's something that we use as a positive for our motivation to how hard we work and come back. And, and you know, we got to make some changes, um, whether it's roster, the way we do things, the way I do things, everything else. Um, we're not going to just sit there and say we're going to carry it over the same way we did this past year. Um, this team, when it was a whole, was a pretty good team. And, um, you know, but at the same time, we know we got to do better and be better.
Well, tomorrow's my first off day since December 24th for my personal. So tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna sleep tonight after this. But then you get to Monday and Tuesday next week. Um, we want to try to take advantage of the recruiting. Um, our guys need time off. And after a couple of weeks, they'll start their weight training and start doing things like that. Um, but for me, it's it's a it's evaluation of, of myself and program. And you know, that comes quickly. How we can fix things. And then roster management is, is a big thing. You know, looking for your roster and then you know, what's going forward and, and then how you can have the best roster for next year. Go ahead, go real quick. Is, um, you know, when you talk about roster management, you know, obviously you've got some guys who transferred once and won't be able to do one time transfer them. But when you kind of start talking about what that was real quick, you make your own things. Yeah, I mean, you always talk to players, um, you know, the week following or two weeks following, so everybody kind of made plans. And, and you, you talk to them about your expectations for them and what you thought and, you know, the, the future. And, and they're, going, they're going to tell you the same thing, you know. Well, you know what they like or don't like, and it's an open meeting. And, and you know, the nature of college basketball now, you know, you're not going to return back the same roster. I don't care if the eligibility is, everybody can come back. Um, we, we got a, a good big guy coming, and Jarrell Roberson from the Matha. He's, um, you know, I think he's going to help us next year. Um, and then we'll kind of just, you know, see what's going on with everybody else. And, you know, if, if everything aligns with us and them and, and then going forward. Technically, ten years. Ten. Well, even that year was his first.